Hello anyone who may be watching, it's Paul here and I'm going to do a uh, demonstration of a cam follower rig, like a mechanical rig and this is 2.79B <laughs> I haven't messed with the new 2.8 stuff, but I've dabbled it one or two times but it doesn't seem to run well on my computer so I don't bother with it yet until they get it stable or <laughs> and I don't have the money to upgrade to anything new so if it doesn't run then well, let's stick with 2.79 for now. Anyhow, I'm going to do a demonstration on the cam follower, like I said. Alright, so here we go. And here's the rig. Nothing too fancy. You got a bone that turns the cam, and then another thing that goes to the cam follower, and then three displacement bones to set up the rig. And it's nothing too fancy, so all the stuff is on these bones here. And what I have on the displacement bones, each one is a shrink wrap. So all they do is shrink wrap to the surface of the cam. And some older blender versions, I don't think they had it. You had to rig different ways. You either had to do the simulation or you had to just go with drivers and fine tune it till you could get the same effect. But this is, I think, an easier way because you can set it up like this and then you can adjust the cam or style the cam and it should work so what I have is a leading bone an offset bone, a middle one and a trailing one and like I said the air shrunk rip to the cam I usually go either slightly inside or slightly below so when editing, so when the shrink wrap is applied, it knows which direction to go, and I use a project mode shrink wrap. So it's plus Y, so these were placed slightly below the cam, and then they snap to it. As long as there's uh, some kind of face above them, they should snap to it. Then for this one, I used... Well, I used a child of, which I don't think I need to do, but... Uh, the main thing is the floor settings. Hold on. Yeah, floor. And what these do is they keep this below the corresponding bone. So I have I have a child of but I could have just used three different floors. And one, two. And I the reason why I have a leading and following one is because at certain angles If I go a certain angle and I don't have that, it covers interference. So, let's say I turn off floor of the lady. Yeah, so say here if I only did one right in the middle, you can see that there's a bit of interference. It might not be drastic at this frame, but yeah. See how that goes through it and if I turn this on it doesn't or it's a lot less. And this has to do with the where you place these has to do with the shape of both the cam profile and the cam follower profile so if this was square these would probably need to be further out or if you had a more extreme one. The thing is you can also just get away with having the middle one but it has to be pretty close to round for both the cam and the cam follower, like it has to be a small diameter cylinder and this has to be a lot more rounded. If you've got uh, more of a projection, you're going to need followers and or these things. You know, the offset, but they go, you might need more than three too, but for this demonstration I'm just showing how the rig is set up and it's not too hard. And all you got to do is adjust the offset value or the actual follower on the bottom and you just you can adjust the offset and then you'll be good to go. So there's not too much to it. It's pretty simple. So if you were to model an engine or some other mechanical device that needs to be a cam operated, just do it like that. And it, as you can see it follows the cam and stays on the surface. That's it. Later.